Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be looking at DWAC Digital World Acquisition. This stock is moving. This stock is grooving. We're going to be talking about what's going on and answering that main question of is now the best time to invest in it. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do hit that like button and subscribe. Also guys, we have ex exciting news. We have a brand new swing trading course. We talk about my strategies on how I've been a full-time swing trader for over six years years so make sure you guys check it out we talk about how i find stocks my mindset strategies it's pretty much it's a one-stop shop for all of your swing trading needs so make sure you guys sign up you guys can use code youtube to get 20 percent off check it out down below but guys let's dive into dwac dwac also known as digital world acquisition aka trump media aka truth social this thing lately has been literally moving and grooving look at the five day chart you guys will see that it literally went from you know about 26 dollars all the way up to highs at 58 dollars a share which is an incredible move it's incredible now why what happened what's going on well obviously this one here it's a trump stock you know and obviously trump is a uh, running for the presidential candidate and you guys will see that one of the reasons why we're seeing so much momentum lately around this stock is because of trump trump is pretty much it's like the figure of dwac it's like tesla with with you know with elon musk it's like amazon with jeff bezos you know dwac is trump now one of the reasons why we're getting so much accelerated growth lately um, is because lately, as we go to the news here, you guys will see that this is kind of why we're getting buying pressure. It's because Donald, Donald Trump is the projected winner of the New Hampshire 2024 uh, Republican primary, which is another reason why people are hopping in on this. People are investing into this stock because of what Trump has to offer. You know, it's like if you're wanting Trump, you're going to be buying the stock. And that's kind of what we've seen. You know, as we look at this chart here, you guys will notice that this thing has seen rapid growth where it went from $9 to $175 in a matter of about three days. So lately, what we've seen is a very similar situation where it went from $16. Now it's trading for $50. Now, do I think this thing could squeeze up to $175? I don't know. I can't predict the future. But one thing I do know is what we're seeing is very similar tendencies. We're seeing te these tendencies where people or hedge funds or funds that were once shorting this stock, you guys will see because we've seen just this general sell off so these people that were once shorting the stock is now doing something called a short squeeze so all of these stocks that were shorting you have to buy them back now the issue is when you buy a stock what happens it causes the share price to go up then when it goes up even higher hedge funds and people that are shorting the stock get scared and then they sell their positions aka buy those shares back causing it to go up even even more so this is kind of what we're seeing you know one of the things here as we go and we look at some of the financials with the stock their earnings per share is is down uh 230 percent you know as we scroll down the cash flow is down 173 percent you know this thing it's it's not profitable but what i do think it's a fun play it's a fun play if you like stocks that squeeze up like gamestop amc all those this is going to be your bread and butter right something like this where we could possibly see this thing squeeze up to 175 but on the flip side what what else we see is as we look at previous history of this stock squeezing up you have to be very very careful because what happens just as fast as these stock squeezes up you guys will see it went from 175 all the way down to $40. So you have to be very, very cautious. If I was going to invest into this, I would look at it with the approach of, you know, high risk, high reward. If I'm investing into this, I'm well aware that this thing could go to zero. But on the flip side, it could go up to $200. And that's the approach you got to have. You can't go into this thing thinking it's like investing into Apple, Google, Microsoft, or, you know, a well-established blue chip stock. This thing's going to be growth. This thing's going to be volatile. It's going to be risky. But 
I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. And that's kind of the approach I have. Am I buying shares? No, I have shares. I have bought shares in the past and I continue to hold them. You know, it's a fun play and that's kind of why I've had them. But overall guys, would I invest? Like I said, no. Where would I invest if I were going to invest? So, you know, just looking at the technical side, you guys will see it's overvalued on the RSI. It, I would need it to honestly fall back down to 19 or 20 bucks for me to even be interested on this. So, but that's coming from somebody that already has shares. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, by all means, ask them in the comments. And guys, don't forget to check out my swing trading course where you guys can learn how I swing trade. Check it out down below. But guys, we'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.